Being able to roll cast with both arms ambidextrous fishing will literally transform your bass angling and take it to a whole new level. And the reason being is now we can efficiently present our lures to targets on either side of them without drastically changing the boat or even worse, oftentimes we won't even make that cast because we know it's at the wrong angle. So whether if you're fishing docks or lay downs or small clumps of vegetation, if you can sit there and use that roll cast to hit either side of your target, you are just going to catch so many more fish. Well, when we use our dominant arm, right, we don't even really think about anymore the process of what we go through to make an accurate cast. But when you start practicing with your other arm, here's several tips that I have found that really, really help me out. Number one is focus with those eyes on target. When we're using our dominant arm, we look at our target and away we go. But so often when we're uncomfortable, when we're practicing with our other arm, now we start to sneak peeks down at the end of the rod tip or down at our lure or actually watch the casting process. But keep those eyes on target and you're going to get proficient at it so much quicker. Next is make sure that you practice with a little bit heavier lure. So if you're used to throwing a quarter ounce lure and just can really pinpoint it with your dominant arm, it's probably a good idea to practice with a three eighths or maybe a half ounce. And it's going to let that inertia of the lure moving in that roll cast, carry some distance for you and keep your arm under control. Next is make sure you really focus on that subdominant arm to keep your arm tight to your body, okay? All you want is this type of movement right here. If you get that arm away from your body too much when you're learning, now you've got so many more variables you're throwing in there. Keep this locked down and boom, just make some easy, short cast, nothing too terribly long and you're gonna pick it up quickly. Also, don't forget to practice on some easier targets. You don't wanna to go to a spot where you're like, oh man, I think there's probably one here, and then try it with this, this other arm, this subdominant arm, and just blow the cast up, and you know, you spook the fish out of there or whatever. So start to practice in some areas. Maybe you're on the trolling motor and, and you're moving between what you think are, is one good spot to another, and you're just idling yourself over there. That's a good time to kind of practice with both arms. You're walking down the shoreline, you know, go to a spot that you don't think is going to be high percentage, make five or six casts with each arm, and then start to move in to those key locations. And of course, these tips work when you're just practicing your casting in general, but when you start to switch to that other arm, we really kind of got to go back to the basics. It's almost like if you're learning to be a switch hitter in baseball, you have to break it back down and get back to the basics. And hey, if you would like to watch a video that talks about the structure I fish during the toughest conditions, you know, rising water, falling water, just extreme water level changes, go ahead and watch this video right here and make sure that you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For The Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.